Hey Blake, welcome on in. Can you guys hear me okay? Let's start with that. We know stream is live. We've got the first part of the puzzle done. Hope everyone is having a good day. Happy, today Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. It is another hot tub stream. Hot tub is behind me. Thanks for redeeming put on the hat. They put on that hat tonight. I feel like it just shut off. Did it shut off? No. It's still on. How's it going, Silver Down? Oh, I can already tell them it's getting choppy like. That's not. How well can you hear me tonight? Hopefully the audio is taking priority over the video. We'll have to we'll have to see here. Closed captions look pretty good, which makes me think it's working. Audio seems fine. Just the video. Well, in that case, let's put some buttons up on the screen. Um, let's see if I can figure that out real quick. We'll, we'll play some board games. We'll chat about the day. It's been it's been a good day here. Blue ears have like caused it to look funny. That's funny. Let's see window capture properties. Instead of Vampire Survivors, let's capture that one. Okay. So I'll just sit off to this side, right? Is this the right side? We'll find out in a minute. Well, everybody, it was a good day. Um, I'm just going to talk through my day. Feel free to chat about it, ask questions. Uh, we're still here in Florida. We're still here in Disney. We're still here. Oh, it's the other side. Um, we're still... Uh, on a rather poor internet connection, um, trying to stream remotely. Uh, I would have streamed from Epcot tonight, except we were having too much fun. So I'm going to go a little bit backwards through the day. Um, my family got here with my sister and her kids and my parents. Her family got tired um, about 5 o'clock, which is a little early. Um, and so uh, the question was, you know, do they go home or what? And their family decided to go home, and Link went with them. So the only people who were in the park were me, Alex Jieg, and Eloise. And we went around and rode Eloise Road Test Track for the first time, which is a car ride, um, and it was a lot of fun. And then we got on Ratatouille, which we tried streaming here once a few years back That with Chippy. Um, that didn't go so well when we did that either. But we were having such a good time with Eloise that I didn't want to uh, stream. It's not all that often you get to have time with just one of your kids to, to make them feel special, that kind of thing. So I gave them all of the attention. I'm just making sure there isn't a feedback loop here. I feel like I'm hearing myself, but am I hearing myself? I don't know if I am or not. Hold on a sec. Let me minimize this. Maybe I'm on. No, nothing there. Now, well, hopefully, you guys aren't hearing it. Whatever I'm hearing, I'm. There is there is a feedback loop. Okay, hold on. Let's make that go away. I don't know where that's coming from. It's like really delayed though, right? What if I just do this? I'm assuming you can still hear me. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait just a moment. We'll let it see if it stops here. J. Abrams hat. Sorry, I didn't see that earlier. Yeah, this is my uh, light-up hat. 
It's got the same coat as the dress. Um, which is interesting because I, one of the other things we were hoping to have happen tonight at Epcot was uh, to have the girls wear the dress again. And because they all went home, we, uh, we didn't get to see it as early, or we didn't get to see the dresses, but it worked out okay because the dresses wouldn't have worked with Epcot's show at all. Worked great with uh, Magic Kingdom, but not at all with Epcot's, which I thought was uh, a little funny um, because uh, at least based on what my hat did during Epcot's show, my hat didn't do anything, so I don't think, uh, I don't think it was working. But yeah, so we, we watched that show, and then Eloise fell asleep in the car on the way home, because we, we are, anytime we have these long Disney trips, we always forget to put rest days in, because it's tiring, <laughs> um, that kind of thing. But we had a lot of other um, really cool things today. I've tried to put, I'm just going to show them on my phone, because it's easier. Um, so... Eloise rode test track for the first time. Um, I don't know how well that's. I could probably probably doesn't show up well on stream at all. I mean, you can kind of see it. That's not too bad. Um, she had a lot of fun on test track, so that was good. But even cooler than that, and I should put this one in the Discord. Um, Let's see if I can get it here. Hey Charles, welcome on in. We're just keeping the stream streak alive here, chatting about the day and playing some board games here. I haven't gotten to the board games yet. Feel free to tell me about your day too. I like hearing other people's days besides my own. But I know Beta just got done streaming Sonic. Zero. <laughs> yeah, photo pass is taking forever to load. Um, so the two things happened this morning, uh, which were really cool. Um, first one was I got to ride Tron, and if you haven't seen the photos in the Discord, uh, I post I put four or five of them there. Um, we didn't get a ride photo, which is kind of sad. It, it's supposed to have ride photos, but it didn't have one apparently today. Um, and it's, it's hard to explain the, I don't think the photos really does it justice, just how cool it kind of looks. Um, but it's a very short roller coaster, very smooth. Uh, it feels a little bit like riding a bike, to be honest. And I would now say it's probably the best roller coaster for somebody that's never roll, ridden a roller coaster at Magic Kingdom now. So... If you get a chance in April to check it out, be sure to check out the Neutron roller coaster. And I don't have any interesting stories to tell there, other than we waited in line for way too long. Um, the ride wasn't, we were like in the first group, and they didn't have the ride fully uh, fired up by the time we got around to doing it. Um, but yeah, I posted a picture or two in the, the Discord if you want to check those out. And then uh, the other really cool thing, like a motorcycle over there or something, that happened today, and sadly there's only one photo of this. Um, my daughter got to go swimming with dolphins, um, which we've never done at Epcot before, but it's something you can do there. Um, you don't even have to have park admission, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, she they gave her a wetsuit to put on, and my wife went with her as well. And everybody got to take one, got one picture with the dolphin, which was really cool. And she came out of it saying she wants to be a marine biologist now. Um, so that was that was a really cool thing that happened today. Um, I would have loved to have tried it out as well, but I don't know, we just, it didn't work out timing-wise. So, that was, 
a lot of fun and excitement, a lot of park hopping today, a lot of walking around. Um, crowd levels were reasonable, weather was great. It's been a really good trip so far. Uh, but we have two, or technically I have two days left here. Um, we were going to go to Universal tomorrow, but we decided that everybody's too tired. <laughs> so we probably aren't going to go to Universal on this trip. And we don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. It might be a rest day. It might be a shopping day. It might be a let's buy one more park pass and make that happen. I don't know. Vacations shouldn't be this uh, this rough, <laughs> this, this uh, energy, but they always are, and I love it. That's the the other fun part about it. But, um, Nintendo World doesn't open um, here in Florida for like another year or two. Um, at some point, I'd like to get to the California one. I did learn something today, though, uh, that I had never really thought to look into. <laughs> um, and I think I maybe knew it. I just didn't really have it committed to memory. Um, I've gone around the world at Epcot, you know, who knows how many times now. And at some point, I've gone into most every store, like checked out most things. Um... But I went to the the Japan area of the park today, and they have they have like an entire store that is like Nintendo, and it, which made me funny because or made it funny because I was like, where are you? When my wife sent me the pictures, because um, it just it didn't. I'm like, why does Disney have this much Mario stuff inside the park? Here, I'll put a little picture up here. You going out, going to the one Desmond out in Hollywood? Um, I mean, that was just one bucket of Morios that I could have acquired there, but there was a giant Pikachu and all sorts of all sort of uh, all sorts of that stuff um, in that store. Yeah, that was at Disney. That was in the Japan Pavilion at uh, at Epcot, um, which kind of shocked me. But yeah, there was there was a lot. Surprisingly, I mean, it was a good sized store too. Like, I should have I should have taken more pictures. If Alex Jig is listening lis listening to me and wants to text me the picture she took, um, I could certainly show more of them. But I think she's asleep. <laughs> she came home and like crashed. Yeah, the one that's not in Japan. Yeah, so Hollywood. The one in like California. If I get to California anytime soon, I will definitely go to Nintendo World. And if I go to Nintendo World, I will definitely stream it. And as soon as they have it here, I'll stream it here too. Um, it's just not open here yet. Still waiting. Were they quality plushies or was it the kind that are found at county fairs? Uh, I don't. That's all you took. I thought I thought you got one of the Pikachu, Alex Jig, and you are listening. Hi. <laughs> quality. Alex Jig knows better because I I didn't get into the store myself. I was having a conversation with some random person about alcohol. Keep it clean, Alex J. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, they they looked pretty good. Everything in that store looked like it was pretty nice. This board game I'm playing here is called My City. 
I have a game of this going with a whole bunch of people, three of them, and then I got one with my family. It's a pretty good game. And then there's Uno, and somebody just made me draw four on... That's just mean. <laughs> I had Uno, and they made me draw four. How rude. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's weird, because when I was a kid, Epcot was my least favorite of the parks, and I think Epcot might honestly be my favorite. It might, it might be my second. I still love the Magic Kingdom. But Epcot is definitely... I like all the food. Too bad it wasn't Ticket Game. Ticket to Ride? I'm going to get to Ticket to Ride. Do you want to play around Silverdome? See? There's Ticket to Ride. I knew it was my move in one of my games. I haven't made all my board game moves. That's why I'm, I'm doing this now. But I wouldn't mind playing a full-fledged Ticket to Ride game. I'll fire one up if you want to play. But I'm just doing my my daily my daily board games because I don't know. It's what I do. Love to explore a bit more. Chevy, you are always welcome to uh, tag along with me, unless the house is full, which right now the house is full. <laughs> In fact, I bet Alex Jag would love to have you along on one of these trips. <laughs> you can see what it's like to drag kids around the park. Figure out what I'm doing in this game here. You file a gizmo pick. I like that. I will take. I have a feeling it would not be too soon unless we do four parks one day. <laughs> yeah, I would wait a little bit anyway. Disney's, uh, they're start, I feel like they're starting to turn the corner, but I would wait until Tron is open to come down here again because it's still in pass holder preview. I would wait for Epcot's construction to finish. I would wait for the 50th anniversary stuff to be over, which is like a month from now. And actually, they've already started taking some of the stuff out. Um, oh, look at it, it's Ninja. Hey, Ninja Weasel Plays and crew. How goes it? Welcome on in. Yeah, you can't explore Epcot doing four parks one day. I, I don't I don't disagree with Alex Jake on that at all. Um, there's just there's just no way. There's too many too many things to do. You can ride everything at Epcot in four parks one day, or at least in one day. Oh, I'm gonna skip this game. This game gives me a headache. So it had to be two trips in the future. Fair enough. Should I fire up a Ticket to Ride game? I'm going to... Oh, wait. I have two games to have moves in? What other game do I have a move in? Okay, I'm just going to compost. Because... I don't know what I'm doing in the game anyway. Ah, start next episode. Which episode are we on? 
First player who builds on all the forest spares gets one gold nugget. Okay. So I gotta cover forest spaces. Okay, I'm gonna fire up Ticket to Ride game if you wanna play Ticket to Ride with me while we chat about Disney and other things. Um, I guess say the word. Either that or I can play an arena game, which, I don't know, that's competitive. Let's just go with play. We'll do turn base just in case. Can I like can I invite people to this? Like if I put the link in chat, will that work? I don't know. Nope, that's not gonna work. I need something. They make this so hard now. How do I Ah, invitation link. Creating link. But I want to set this to be friends only. How do I do that? Yeah, I like the old UI way better. Okay, here's the invite link. I just, I want a lot, what's this button do? Table is open to all, I don't want that. I want restrict to group, my friends. And then if somebody wants to be my friend, they can be my friend. Okay, we'll see if anybody wants to join. If we can get two or three people, we'll play around. If we can't. We'll stare at the screen while we chat about other things. What was Ninja? What were you doing tonight? I don't even. I didn't even ask. I forgot to do a shout out here. Let's do a shout out for Ninja Weasel Plays, who's normally the official after party of JJDB210, but instead tonight is the official before party of JJDB210. There, there's the, there's that here. We'll do the other shout out too. Shout out Ninja Weasel Plays. That's not how you do that. I should learn how to uh, stream. Ah, Sandrock. I suppose it was Wednesday. That does make sense. I've completely lost track of time down here. Both because I don't wear a watch and because I'm on vacation not paying attention to my job. <laughs> I don't even want to look at my email. <laughs> That's... A dangerous thing. I don't think anybody wants to play, which is fine. Should I just play? Okay, I'll leave that open in case anybody wants to play. You should try it, Ninja. You should definitely try it. I don't know what you and the wife do for fun, but if you ever want to come to Florida, I can give you some advice. I have all the Florida advice. You struggle to get folks to play with you on Tuesday? Yeah. Well, here, we'll... We'll entice them with a uh, with an arena game. So arena right now is two player ticket to ride, which is a little bit mean. I'm currently world rank 480, which I don't think is anything to write home about, but it makes me feel good. And let's see if I can get beat. Da -da -da. 
So we're playing somebody from France. No, Canada. Canada. Canadian. Go to game, please. Okay, so first things first. We gotta pick tickets. And what happens if I make this window bigger? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, we're gonna go Los Angeles to Chicago. I don't know if I wanna do that one. We'll do Kansas City to Houston on the off chance that this all goes south. Wait, I guess that's south. <laughs> I think there was a bad pun there. And we're just gonna start drawing tickets. Okay, he took black, he took yellow, okay. We're gonna take two greens, just to mess with him. He's taking yellow, red. So I'm paying attention to what he's taking because without some knowledge of where he's going. He's clearly going here. But he hasn't grabbed, ooh, I shouldn't have grabbed that red. Okay, the screen keeps shifting on me, which is causing me some problems. Okay, there we go. Blame that. I'm going to try making this just a little wider because it's the draw three button that keeps causing trouble. <laughs> Cape Coral, Coral. Yes, you guys do do the camping thing. I do remember that. Didn't mean to take that blue. keep taking off the pile and then it shifts up and then I take not off the pile. Okay, so we're going to mess with this guy just a little bit and we're going to go like so. Okay, so it's interesting that he's on the south side here. Which way is he going to block is the question. Could get aggressive and get in his face here. So we're gonna do this. <laughs> Hope that we caught him off guard. Poor Canadian. <laughs> if Phoenix was where he was going, more power to him. But we probably should finish our route, though. I think we will. He's in trouble. Now, I could be mean. <laughs> if I if I wasn't already. Um, let's 
It's interesting he took all those yellows early on and hasn't done anything with them. Do I know if BGA still has the 1910 expansion? I don't actually. I don't know if they do or not. Last I looked, they didn't have any of the expansions, but I think Asmodee bought them, didn't they? So they should they should have picked them up by now. Okay, we've only got four more tickets to draw. So we're gonna draw orange. And we can't really go that direction. I'm looking for Looking for good routes I can play here. That would be worth points. So he took red and red. He took both reds. Interesting. Okay, we only need two more trains. So we'll take those two trains, whatever they may be. No, that's not helpful. Okay, let's do this. Let's go blue to here. Hey, Mythos. Disney's good. We just got done with Epcot. I was telling stories. Uh, I'll give you the, the short version of it today. Uh, my daughter swam with dolphins at Epcot. I rode Tron for the first time at um, the Magic Kingdom. Um, yeah, those are, the, those are the big highlights. My wife and my daughter and me closed down to Epcot. Not the hardest thing in the world to do, but we did. And now I'm playing some uh, some Ticket to Ride by myself at the moment. I don't know if I don't think I don't think they do, Chappy. I don't think they have any of the expansions, sadly. She loved the dolphins. Um, says she wants to be a marine biologist now. That's her. That was where she, where she landed. Um, with all of that, so yeah, she, she ate it all up. Okay, so we have choices to make here. Um, that won't trigger Endgame, sadly. He took the one card I wanted. <laughs> oh, it all worked out. So we want one card over. I'm okay with that. And this will trigger endgame. And I'm out of trains. I let him get connected, which I probably shouldn't have. Um, but I think I got him, so I'm not, I'm not gonna draw any more routes. It's too risky. Okay, one fail. The one fail should do him in. Ooh, that 21 though could have been dangerous to me. I'll take it. We gotta win, what rank are we? Moving up slowly. Okay, 431st in the world now, not too shabby. Brother-in-law's going to bed. Let's see if anybody tried to join this game real quick. Um, nothing. I have a family home that has a dock near a shrimping dock and porpoises show up a lot there in the early hours. That's cool. Yeah, she, um, they were a little nervous before they, they got there this morning. I wasn't with them, but I'm just relaying what I was told. They uh, they got into the lake, and it was funny because apparently my son could see their feet um, from the from the aquatic Nemo area or whatever. So they were kind of watching uh, my daughter's feet and my, my mom's feet, uh, or no, my wife's feet changed people. Um, I haven't seen those photos myself yet, but um, 
yeah, they had a, they had a great time with it, and and I think she would love to do it again sometime. It won't happen again on this trip, but definitely at some point. Um, seeing what these messages are. Da, da, da. Nothing. But yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, the new Tron ride was was pretty epic too. Um, I think I think it will be my favorite roller coaster at Magic Kingdom when it finally opens. Pretty sure it's pretty solid. It's short though. My biggest problem with it is that it's short. But I don't know. Should I play another game or something? I could do more Ticket to Ride. I could play something else too. We could play Splendor, Chess. So many. If you guys haven't been on Board Game Arena, you should definitely check out Board Game Arena. It just keeps getting better and better. Oh, leg. Mm hmm. Sea Salt and Pepper is a pretty basic game. Um, there was one thing I wanted to do tonight too that we haven't done yet. And I don't know how well it would work. The other thing that I've been doing on this trip, um, as many of you know with this hat and my daughter's dresses, I've been trying to reverse engineer Disney's uh, Bluetooth stuff and every night I've been taking this around the park, which is just a, a Bluetooth sniffer that I've put together specifically for Disney. I've been recording everything I can capture. And there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot more than, than I think I have any concept of at this point. Um, it makes me wish that I lived down here because then I could like test this stuff easier. I should go for a swim. Um, at the moment, the I think the flipper is unable to do the job um, without an expansion board. The other, um, the other problem, because so the Bluetooth and the flipper is not designed to be reprogrammed. The Bluetooth and the Flipper is designed to allow your cell phone to interact with the onboard systems. Um, I know somebody was working on firmware that could leverage the Bluetooth to do other things, but I don't think that ever got released, or I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't looked at their Discord lately, though. Um, but I do know that... Uh, you can do it with an expansion board with the flipper. And the other reason though is I, I'm a, I'm, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little worried that I think the flipper has gotten to be a little too popular to the point where I'm worried it's actually on Disney's radar um, in terms of things not to allow in the park. I don't know why they wouldn't allow it in the park, but I'd just be worried that if security saw it, and I understand that it can be made to look like a video game system and stuff like that, but I could imagine that Disney security has been trained to look for it. Maybe. I don't know. I, I worry about Disney security far more than I probably should um, with a lot of things. Even today, uh, me, my dad, and my mom are the annual pass holders. There's something in the woods behind me and I have no idea what it is. And I'm just hoping it's not a crocodile. Well, I mean, it might be a crocodile. I'm just hoping it's not a crocodile that will try to break into here. Um, Exactly, I feel. I'm 
Sorry. Noises are getting to me. Um, I was talking about Tron. <laughs> um, we're the annual pass holder, so we had we had the Tron preview passes. But if you saw the photo of who actually wrote on Tron, it was me and uh, my brother-in-law. And he took my dad's pass. And I was, I was so worried. Um, no, I, I don't think it's gators. I, something that was hitting the, there's a screen behind me, um, like a mesh. I think something's hitting it, but there's also something big back there somewhere. I just don't know how far back there. Um, he took my dad's magic band and went through and we got through the first one, no problem. And then, of course, there's a second checkpoint. And the second checkpoint didn't have any data. Um, it was just a green or a red. But the first checkpoint, I think, actually had, like, photos of people. And if I, if the person had looked at it, I think I think there would have been questions. <laughs> but we men, like, they didn't stop us. Um, but I, it's just things I worry about. And it wouldn't have gotten me in trouble so much as it would have gotten my dad in my trouble. Oh, that was the other thing. Um, this was really upsetting. So, uh, I streamed from Animal Kingdom yesterday, so I haven't streamed since last night. Uh, and Cheppy will, will know a little bit more about what this means, but we, uh, I got home last night from Animal Kingdom, and I've been driving the same bright red charger that Cheppy and I drove down here in January and I pulled into the garage and my dad was already in the garage looking at us as we were driving in and he gave me this weird look like something wasn't right <laughs> and uh, I pulled up and opened the window and I asked him I pulled into the garage and asked him what was going on he goes you hit something I'm like no I didn't <laughs> and he's like well something damaged the front of the vehicle and when took a look at you know parked the car and looked at the front somebody had to have backed into the charger at animal kingdom sometime between like 5 p.m and when we left because i had gone out to the car earlier and i was pretty sure i hadn't seen anything but yeah they they put a hole in the the front uh front fender and a few scratches to boot as well um my guess is a trailer hitch or something backed into it. Yeah, not cool. Um, so, but it'll give them something to do. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that it happened for sure. And it's not going to be the easiest thing to get repaired because it's not a run of the mill car. But, uh, my dad called the insurance company today and, Sounds like the repair is probably going to be less expensive than the deductible, so we'll probably just do the repair. And then uh, the other interesting thing about it was um, I did some research into whether or not we could find out who did it, because they didn't leave a, a note on the car or anything, um, whoever backed into us. And... I was like, I wanted to see if there was a way we could get that information from Disney, and it seems like Disney won't give it to you unless you have a police report that makes a request for it, or you have a insurance claim, and it's honestly more hassle than it would be worth. But after getting through the frustration, my wife brought up a good point that the repair... Whatever's behind me keeps messing with me. Um, is Florida an at-fault state? I don't know. I really would like to know what's behind me. <laughs> I don't have any way to shine a light back there, though. Um, keep getting myself distracted, but, uh, oh, my wife's point. My wife said, um, 
the repair is probably still cheaper than a rental car would have been. <laughs> so there's that. You can look at it as a possibility. There's a number of... Um, it does have a flashlight mode. I just don't want to walk over there. Should I anyway? I'm going to go walk over there. Wait right here. If you see me get eaten by an alligator, I'm sorry. So, one moment. Whatever it is, I would take you with me, but uh, I'm actually on a laptop because the cell phone thing hasn't been working too well from the house for whatever reason. Um, but the whatever it is, it's too far away for the cell phone flashlight to light it up through the screen. So, who knows? But yeah, those are those are the other eventful things. But yeah, it's just frustrating. I mean, it's. Uh, I was thinking about how it'd be nice to own a Tesla because rumors that the Tesla onboard cameras record like anybody that gets near your car. It'd be fun to have like a the Tesla record, you know, <laughs> whoever backed into you. Kind of thing. I think that would be a, a really nice feature to have. <laughs> One of the things we have to look forward to with uh, automated vehicles. But we're still, yeah, exactly, century mode. But I don't know. Odds are it was probably somebody that had been drinking at Animal Kingdom and and or a tourist. just thinking if it had been a rental car how much of a pain that would have been to deal with too I've never wanted to have to deal with like a damaged rental car that claim would not be fun yeah Linus Tech Tips did a video about that Cheppy um, and honestly I think dash cams are probably one of the hardest camera systems to build anyway because um, you have to deal with both sunlight and low light and that's not easy let alone being able to read a license plate um, it's surprisingly difficult I think to make a good good camera there's just too much too much uh, variability but Maybe that's just my belief. I haven't done a good job with board games. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play one more round of Ticket to Ride. Just to have a game going in the background. And it's it's really too bad that too like so many people just drive off too. Like, I understand you don't want to deal with it. I understand you know you think you can get away with it, but it's still, it's still sad. Oh wait, cancel! I don't want to play Azul. I'll play Ticket to Ride. Get one more game in here before I call it a night. I don't know or doing tomorrow though I have to think about that everybody wants to sleep in that's the only thing I know about tomorrow turtle <laughs> Spanish 
got Duluth, Houston, Montreal, Atlanta, and Toronto. Toronto. Ooh, I don't like these routes at all. Um, I think I'm going to go for trying to get connected as fast as possible and then just making it work. There's no time to sleep in. Plenty of time to sleep in tomorrow. I'm also debating whether or not I'm going to move my flight back a day. Stay. Stay one more day. I technically could stay two, but I, I really should go to work on Monday. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's nice to have a day at home. After a long trip. Turtle's gonna turtle. I've run out of stories though. Ooh, see now here's the thing. Do I punish the player who's turtling? They violated the rules of the game. I'll give them a chance. I don't like it when this happens, especially in arena. You shouldn't be entering the arena if you can't play. It just destroys your rank. What did they do wrong? Turtle? Or somebody else? What 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 am I referring what are you referring to, Chep? I lost the subject and it's probably because of the stream delay. In in an arena, I'm in a real time arena game which means you have like a minute and a half to make, yeah, they have a minute and a half to make their move. Could you define turtle? Well, it's a species of animal, Ninja Weasel, but sometimes it's used to describe a small creature, not creature, small moving thing in the programming language known as Logo, a classic programming language, really. Uh, I believe it was invented at MIT. Uh, and it originally evolved a full-fledged four-wheeled turtle on the ground. It had like a giant pen and a giant sheet of paper on the ground. This is where I hit the skip turn of players out of time button and punish this player. And you get a leave penalty for... Now I'm curious. Are they actually here? Yeah, they show up two minutes late. <laughs> or is it, or am I, am I playing a computer or am I playing a human now? I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to keep playing and pretend like I know what I'm doing. In 
and they've made up their lost time, technically. We need blues. Yeah, that's why I think it might be a computer player, but I'm also doing they're doing which would make me equally suspicious <laughs> I mean this is not an this is not an uncommon strategy in ticket to ride oh I think it is the human probably wondering is this guy a computer interesting don't know what I don't know what path I'm trying to take here have a good night Chep Your trip is going well I'll keep posting things to the discord for you and uh, I hope things are all good there too I hear there's snow we won't be streaming too much longer it's going to be a short stream I'll finish this game and then Probably call it. So we're going to go here first just to mess with him. go here then we're going to divert just a little and we're going to go here so I, I gapped that um, for a few reasons. And see, this way he can't block me both ways. And in fact, he's going to get blocked himself now. He made a bad choice. He did do something that's a little annoying to me. He blocked my... Uh, blocked my good way of getting that pink. Our routes are complete. We are going to take the pink to be mean. Or competitive as it might be the case not too much yet that's good I don't want it there to be a lot of snow when I get home <laughs> I was here in like four to eight inches at one point and then every time I looked on the camera there wasn't anything 
I wasn't aiming there. You taking off too, Desmond? Have a good night. Sleep well when you get there. I think we'll go here. Two won't end it for us, but... Really? Is he going to turtle again? Dude, the game's over. You got blocked. You got beat. You took too long. You got a time penalty. This is the final round. Get one more point just for fun. How many routes did we block? One, two. <laughs> That's just mean. Now, did we get credit for it, though? Nice, we did. I'm now 406th in the world. Nice. Well, everybody, I think we're going to call that the end of stream. Ninja, thanks for hanging out with us. Cheppy, thanks for hanging. Dismond, thanks for hanging. Appreciate you all being here tonight. Uh, Charles, thanks for being here. Silverdown. Uh, we will, be, Blake, I know you were here as well. Um, I don't know what time we'll be back tomorrow. Could be an early stream, could be a late stream, could be a park stream, could be a shopping stream, could be, maybe, maybe it'll be a hot tub stream where I actually get in the hot tub, you know, back there. Because that just sounds fun, right? <laughs> Not at all. Not like one of Beta 64's bathtub streams. I mean, hot tub streams. I mean, yeah, whatever the case may be. As we say around here, you guys, dolphin stream. Now, that would be fun. Uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. And until next trip, see ya.